So I want you to think about how much you unnecessarily stress yourself out. Our body is wired to have this fight or flight response and it's a wonderful thing. And when we're truly in a life-threatening situation, it will help us save our lives. But oftentimes we set it off when we don't need to. So for example, if you watch a lot of dramatic television or really violent movies or really scary things, if you start to pay attention, you'll notice that you're really tensed up during those scenes, your heart is racing, your blood has flushed, your, your breath is quickened. It's elicited the fight or flight response in you. And part of that's by design. Hollywood wants us to have that experience. But I want you to think about if that's really good for you or not. If you do that a lot, if every night you're watching really dramatic stuff or listening to the radio and hearing really upsetting things, you could be putting undue stress on your body. So pay attention to your media intake and just be thoughtful about it. The other thing I want you to think about is how, you, how we worry. This is what sets us apart from the animals who also have an amygdala that is part of the fight or flight response, but they don't set it off by worrying. The zebra is on the plane and the lion starts chasing after him and his amygdala will go off, he'll have the fight or flight response and he'll run. And afterwards, his, his whole system calms down much faster than ours does. They've actually done blood tests on zebra to see this. And the difference is the zebra is not gonna go home that night and go, oh my gosh, that was the worst day ever. <gasps> I hope he doesn't come back tomorrow. But we do that, right? We have something bad that happens at work and all night long we ruminate on it and we get pissed off again and frustrated again. And then we worry about it the next day, is it gonna happen again? And we keep stressing ourselves out. This is why mindfulness practices are really helpful. Meditation, gratitude, just trying to be present and breathing in the current moment, it helps us be more like the zebra so that we're not stressing ourselves out about something that already happened or might happen. So think about your stress and try to keep yourself as calm as you can. It's a pretty stressful world and we gotta do what we can to counterbalance that.